To this now, ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa has spoken out for the first time about what led to his early departure at the ANC's Women League event at Libuakomo Civic Centre in Limpopo yesterday. He left the centre just before delivering the Lillian Ngoyi Memorial Lecture, citing lack of COVID-19 protocols as a reason behind his decision. Ramaphosa told the SABC News in Mokopong that there was nothing sinister or out of the ordinary that made him leave. He says there was a mutual agreement between him and the ANC's Women's League that the event can't continue with the protocols of COVID-19 not being obeyed. COVID regulations, not non-compliance. So we had to stop and uh, everybody agreed, including the leadership of the Women's League. So it was all agreed that we hadn't complied because we must comply with uh, COVID regulations. So everything was well handled and I'm rather glad that everybody, including the leadership, agreed that we should not proceed. Well, today marks what would have been the struggle icon Peter Mugaba's uh, 63rd birthday. This event, as well as the Peter Mugaba Memorial Lecture, are among the build-up activities to the ANC's January 8th celebrations tomorrow at Peter Mugaba Stadium in Bulugwane, Limpopo. For more on this, let's now cross live to our reporter, Samkele Maseko. Good afternoon to you, Samkele. Now, of course, you spoke to the ANC president, and he clarified the events of what happened uh, yesterday. Talk to me about what his main reasoning is. I mean, you were there just before that memorial le lecture of Lilian Goyi took place yesterday. Essentially, that story of the president walking out was because of these same scenes you are seeing here in this Youth League event here, where these members of the Youth League want to, uh, to basically break this uh, gate here and go through to the Jack Waters Hall here in Pulokwane to listen to the Peter Mukaba lecture. We do understand that only 500 people are allowed inside, but uh, this group led by ANC Youth League member and, P and PTT member, that would be Tabo Maboche, wants to enter this venue at all costs, saying that uh, those who are getting accreditation are slave queens which are aligned to the leadership of the ANC Youth League. Yesterday, Zizi Gwato, the minister, in, the deputy minister in this presidency responsible for state security, moved the president from that hall in Lubwaku Muchu to a threat of security and lack of adherence to COVID-19 regulations. Now the NYTT of the ANC Youth League has been trying by all means to make sure that they adhere to these COVID-19 regulations by minimizing the number of people who are going to go inside the Jack Waters Hall, which is behind us over there, where they will be entering to listen to the Peter Mukaba lecture to be delivered by the ANC president. That lecture was meant to start at half past three this afternoon, but the president of the ANC has not yet arrived here. Now you can see the minister in, the deputy minister in the presidency, rather responsible for state security, Zizi Gotwa, engaging there with members of the National Youth Task Team of the African National Congress, telling them about the security threats that may exist should those high numbers of people want to enter this hall that my colleague Tabiso Rapakwana is now showing you to listen to this Peter Mukaba lecture. The arrival of the president of the ANC was anticipated any time from now as members of the Presidential Protection Services have arrived and have been sweeping this hall. As you can see, the access gates and the access control had been ready. There are a few members of the ANC Youth League who are already in this hall, about a group of 20 of them are already inside and the rest have not yet been let inside due to security concerns when it comes to COVID-19 regulations. We do know that this hall takes a capacity of about 2,000 people to enter this hall, but the state security along with the Presidential Protection Services is only saying 500 people can enter this specific hall here.
Now, Samkele, of course, you know, the various events that have been planned are for the party commemorating and celebrating its 110th uh, year uh, anniversary. And, of course, this is a big deal for the ANC. But these series of events, and, I mean, you mentioned the word security threat. Talk to us about how concerned, you know, just um, are the officials of the ANC about just this, the level of, uh, you know, disruptions that we are seeing just um, in the past two days. I mean, we know that the ANC will be holding its gala uh, event even to, tonight, and they've held a golf uh, day event that probably went off seamlessly. But just in terms of the security threats, how concerned um, are officials about that? Well, I'm not too sure about the disruptions because I've not seen any disruptions in any of their venue and any of their rallies or build up uh, to their January 8th statement. What is there is that uh, yesterday's lecture was abruptly halted because of uh, what they say was the high numbers of uh, people in that specific venue in Lubuahum, which was against and was not complying with COVID-19. Uh, regulations in the country and the president could not be seen as the head of state breaking those regulations that are set by his very same government and him being the first citizen and the president of this country is meant to uphold and to respect and to make sure that he enforces those regulations he is not the one who is meant to be breaking them hence you see the, the deputy minister in the presidency responsible for state security Zizi Gotwa here on the ground making sure that there is compliance to those regulations as we speak now there is another group of anc youth league members arriving and chanting down the streets of pulokwane and going towards that specific entrance which will also be used for the vehicles of the president of the anc to enter this venue along with other dignitaries of the governing party so in essence there is uh, a misunderstanding and they are not agreeing with one another when it comes to the issues of adhering to the numbers that is being demanded by the presidential protection services of the president of the African National Congress and the president of the country who will try as soon as Mr. Zizi Gotwa is done with engaging with those members of the National Youth Task Team to try and engage with them, especially knowing that the ANC Youth League has been limping ever since the disbandment of a protege of uh, Peter Mukaba, uh, which would be Julius Malema, when he was expelled from the ANC Youth League, they've returned now uh, to uh, the home of Peter Mukaba, which is Limpopo, and which is Polokwane, where he was born and bred in Mangkweng, uh, in the area near Teflup, where he, his family is situated and where he was born and bred. And he raised the likes of Figile Mbalula in the ANC Youth League, who's also a former Secretary General, a former President of the Youth League, and also the likes of Zizi Gotwa, who was a member of the ANC Youth League as well and a former a leader of the ANC Youth League during that era of Malusi Kikaba, of Figile Mbalula, of the ANC Youth League, the likes of the late Songhe Zomtongile. But this organization has been limping from one crisis to another. You can see the head of uh, protection when it comes to the office of the presidency and the President Ramaphosa. He is also on the ground making sure that uh, there is strict security ad adherence in this lecture to be addressed by the ANC president as it seemingly looks like it may be descending into chaos. We are going to go and try and grab one of the NYTT members to speak on these matters as they seem like uh, there is some sort. Nangaba Mshaule, who is the convener of uh, the ANC Youth League task team, just a breakdown. Why is there confusion? Why are your members trying to force themselves to come into the venue? Why are you locking them out? There's no confusion. Um, you would have known that the venue has a particular capacity, uh, which is 500. So we now have young people who've come from all over the province who want to listen to the president speak to them. So what we are doing right now, in fact, we are trying to find alternatives where the president can actually address all young people outside the venue because if we come in it means that some young people will be excluded and we don't want anyone excluded this is a very important day it is the 63rd anniversary of president Buta Mukaba, which is why we are actually now going to ensure that everyone who's here is going to be able to get the message of the president it's really just an issue of oversubscription and mass mobilization 
Yesterday, the ANC Women's League tried by all means before the arrival of the ANC president to make sure that they go and address, or the president of the ANC rather, addresses them outside the Lubuahumu Civic Centre Hall. That was refused by the Presidential Protection Services of the president of the country, Cyril Ramaphosa. Will they agree this time around since they refused yesterday with those thousands of women gathered in Lubuahumu? Uh, remember, in fact, what we just did now, uh, the session that you saw us having right now, was that particular discussion to say that here we are right now, the regulations say that 2,000 outside. The people that are there are at least 1,000. So we can't have an indoor program at the moment, which is why we are now looking at an alternative that's going to assist us. You would have seen, of course, in the various... Um, you would have seen in the various... Um, programs that we've had uh, before today. In fact, I think it was on Monday we were with the Deputy President where he was also outside and various other, other, info, various other uh, programs as well. So there's absolutely no chaos. Uh, the President is going to speak to young people and the President is going to address all young people who are here today. Thank you very much. thank the SABC for being here. Thank you, Ms. Ms. Laula, who is a convener of the NYTT. We are going to try and go to Mr. Gotwa. We don't know if uh, he will speak. But uh, just in essence, Ms. Mr. Gotwa, the essence of uh, the issues you are raising, no, 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 you are the state's uh, deputy minister responsible for state security. What is the issue? Why are you refusing for those young people to come in? Is it, a num is it a, an issue of the numbers as we had yesterday in Lebowahu? I'm here as an NEC member of the ANC. The decision, the event is organized by the Youth League. We just spoke to the convener, and I think the comrades, this is the organizer, Comrade Tlangi. They will explain to you the decision, they will explain the details, they will explain the organizing, they will explain what is going on here. I'm just here as an NEC member. With my NEC member uh, fellow, Comrade Sister Zigalala, the former Secretary General of the Youth League, the only thing we were assisting in terms of guidance and hey, listening to comrades, the challenges they are facing. How did you guide them, Mr. God? No, it's them, they take a decision, we listen to them. Mr. Zigalala, <laughs> as a former Secretary General of the ANC Youth League, you took over the reins after the, the likes of Peter Mukaba led this organization. To see the ANC Youth League where it is today and what's happening, how would you think the legacy of Peter Mukaba can be based on it when the president delivers this lecture? Well, I think you want us to reflect on the life and struggle of Mukaba uh, before the president even address. It will be better to allow the president to address then following that, we can make our own comments, adding to that. We will not, will not be good to preempt the address by the president. So the address will definitely go ahead? Yes, going ahead, but you can talk to the youth league about that. Ms. Tlangi Mukhale, just your essence, how you've organized this event, the logistics going forward now, how are you going to handle getting a truck or an ANC van to come and address these members of the ANC youth league who are gathered outside? Look, our organizing was quite uh, organized on its own. Uh, really, we had to follow all the compliance regulations. So it's really just an issue of miscommunication and some thinking that not getting tax means that they're being excluded. But I think we're dealing with the issue now. We've spoken with the security, they've agreed. As the ANC Youth League, we're going to allow every young person to come inside and listen to the, to the, to the, to the president, not inside, but outside the venue, because with a 2,000 capacity that is you know, allowed, it, 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 it gives us an opportunity to allow them inside. So as the ANC Youth League, we were following all the, the protocols, and I think we did that ex exceptionally well. That is why we don't want to, um, we don't want to um, bring the, 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 the image of the ANC into disrepute. So we're following all the protocols. And I think the ANC leadership has also really assisted us. We are speaking now with the family of the, the Mokaba to explain to them that every young person who wishes to listen to the ANC president will be afforded that opportunity. And we are doing just that. This place can take more than 1,000 people, and I think that is the number that we're currently having. Unfortunately, we could not let it inside because we had to comply. But every young person will not be excluded because young people love their president. So it's really just that commotion. But there are no issues. We've got this under control, and the, 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 the address by the president is going to proceed. We've seen PYTT members outside mobilizing and addressing those members, speaking against your own coordinator, Joy Maimele, saying disparaging words. You've got a, a, a national congress coming up. Are those some of the elements that are creeping in in this event outside? Look, Warilo, um, we are interested and obsessed with the renewal project of the ANC League. 
some things that we do not know that are an ANC, that are foreign to the ANC, I think we'll deal with them organizationally. I think some of the things we might have seen them, but what is more important now is that young people are excited, they are here to listen to their president, and I think that's what we should preoccupy ourselves with. Other issues, if there's any issues that are supposed to be in front of the DC, we've got structures in place, and I think we'll deal with that. But as far as we're concerned, young people are just outside, and they are, they are agitated because they felt or they were made to believe that they will not be allowed an opportunity to, to listen to their president. And I think we've resolved that. Thank you very much, Ms. Tlangi Mukhale, who is a member of the NYTT, who is responsible for the mass mobilization of the ANC Youth League, saying the event will definitely go ahead as long as with the former Secretary General of the ANC Youth League, Sitezi Galala, Chairperson and Premier of Kwazulu Natal, and the Deputy Minister in the Presidency responsible for State Security, Zizi Goodenough Gotwa. Samkele, thank you so much.